Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. This is the third lesson and today's lesson we'll be covering dashboards. In the previous two lessons we covered how to connect your data and as well creating basic chart types. This is really important that you see the previous two lessons because this third lesson builds on on those previous two. So let's get started. So what you'll see, this is, should be very familiar to what you've created at the end of lesson two. And what we're going to do now is create a dashboard. And a dashboard is really an opportunity to create a view of multiple visualizations and as well create relationships so they can interact with one another. So enough talking, let's just get started. So what we're going to do here is you can click on this four windows to create a new dashboard or you can click on dashboard at the top and click new dashboard. First thing we're going to do is this size. We're going to change it to automatic. And what automatic will do is it will adjust the size of the white space to how much white space there are available. So if you have a, a bigger screen, then it's going to be more space. If you have a smaller screen, if your pixel densification is different, if that's a word, then uh, it's going to obviously be different. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see these three visualizations that we created before. And we're going to click on sales versus profit. Uh, regional sales and then we're going to click profit over time something to this effect and then so something like this not too big a deal if you don't have it exactly like this and we're going to call this uh, sales dashboard or let's just call this um, business insight dashboard and what we're going to do here is just do some quick formatting. So we're going to go dashboard, show title. And then what you'll see, the sh title is automatically linked to the title of the tab. And that's if you were to double click it, you'll see that it uh, pulls this reference here. If you were to delete it by accident, you can always add the, the sheet name here. Perfect. So that's good, handy. It's good to see all three at once. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the next level. And this is what really separates software is like Tableau from from Excel for example what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to action and we're gonna click on add action filter and we're gonna click on select and we're gonna call this interactive uh, filtering and we're gonna leave everything as is and we're gonna press so this first area is the source sheets so what 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 sheets do we want to click in order to impact the target sheets in this case it's all of them so you can press ok so what we can do here is you can click on a particular region and then what we'll do is it'll filter these other visualizations based off of that so what what you can do is for example right now we know all we know about in this visualization is that low priority March 2009 has low profitability well, like why why is that the case so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive a little bit further so we can see here that there's there's this huge outlier here so we should try to figure out what region that is so it looks like a region in the west so if we click on the west what you'll see here is that there's negative ten thousand dollars worth of profit for low priorities in march that are in the west and most of it's caused by in fact almost all of it's caused by this one order right here and if we hover over it and click view data we can see exactly the transaction that's causing this or, for example, you want to understand uh, why these ones are all profitable and where they're coming from. You can see here uh, where they're coming from, what's causing the profitability. So you can see here that the large amount of profitability is coming from this medium priorities in March 2009, and that's coming from the south. So really interesting way of, of, of formatting the data, so that way we can actually see and draw appropriate insights. I'm just gonna clear some of these filters. Sometimes they're a bit. So really useful, really useful way of drawing insights using dashboards. So let's do a bit of formatting. So what I like to do is you can click on this dashboard format and then what you can do here is you can change the default color. Sometimes I like to make it like a light gray, not something that's white, just to add a little bit of flavor to it. 
Uh, I like to add borders around my titles and then add a little space for the title. Uh, and you can also, what I also like to do for these legends, I like to go format container, right click format container, borders, and that way you can take a look here. And then what you'll see here is when you go to presentation mode, you have a nicely formatted dashboard. Uh, you can also, for example, right click edit access takeaway here because people can clearly see that's month so it's not a big deal so you can also know that these are regions so we don't need to have this title up here so some really quick formatting that can be done on a dashboard to improve the view uh, you can like for example move these legends around so this first one is right here product and you can also add it here and then add these ones to the right. So it's a really quick and easy way of formatting these uh, different dashboards. You can also then subsequently add borders to each of these. And now you have a nicely formed dashboard that allows you to interact, understand why some of these are so profitable. And it really allows you to drill down to the data in a really easy and interactive way. So that's dashboards for you. So hopefully you learned something from there. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.